Alrighty, what well, morning everybody and cast time once again and this time I'm gonna do something completely different. Um I um first let me uh let me do a little uh let me do a little trailer of this real quick. Uh it's a new game it's a new game I found last night slash this morning called My Friendly Neighborhood. But here, let me uh let me uh, let this uh trailer do all the work. Okay, so I just, um, like I said, last night on one of my, or here, let me, um, yeah, I guess I should have mentioned at the start of this cast that there's probably going to be a fair amount of moving parts, so there's going to be some goops here and there. Um, so let me, yeah, this really didn't go according to plan at all, but anyway, so the music I'm going to play is uh, Stone Rebel, uh, Dreams and Illusions. It's just uh, instrumental guitar music. Um, some, some I haven't played in a very long time, so let me go ahead and rewind this back. And I am going to have to sound test this. say close enough but anyway like I said on one of my favorite YouTube channels Alpha Beta Gamer they did a demo run of this um it's I mean I as you can probably surmise from the trailer it's part right re, part Resident Evil and to me there's some uh, Bioshock in there as well and um and a whole lot of Sesame Street so uh, I found it a very interesting uh, first-person shooter, mainly because there's no gore. Unlike the unlike the vast majority of uh, first-person shooters out there, I'm sure a lot of them claim it to be totally not like those other games. But yet, they all go around, you see blood and guts and all that, you know, bodies exploding, etc., etc. You know, it's basically, it's basically first-person Smash TV. But this one here is is pretty new. Like I said, there's no there's no gore in this game. I mean, you're you're fighting against puppets. You know, Sesame Street gone wild. So, but uh, not a. Uh, I don't think I don't think it'll be enough for me to actually download and play the play the demo. Play the demo. Just again, I'm not not really big into first person shooters anymore. Um, but, yeah, but, you know, I, I might put it on my wish list, if only, if only for, uh, to get an official date when the actual game comes out, because I definitely want to see a gameplay of it. Especially if there's no commentary on it. Because, yeah, that, but uh, this is a, this is a first-person shooter, something that I've wanted, I've wanted to see for a very long time, because... Because once again, a lot of these first-person shooters, they're um, a lot of them contain blood and gore. And no, I'm not, I'm not squeamish or anything, but you know, I would like to see something different. 
Um, and, and on top of that, I think um, Alpha Beta Gamer has actually had put out a few of these kind of first-person shooters. Um, but um, a lot of them are pretty uh, are pretty uh, sick, uh, sick, twisted, and perverted as well. Oh God, what is it? I think um, Angry Foot might be one of them. I think there might be gore in that game, or at least blood. I can't remember though. But uh, this strikes me as a uh, kind of game. It can be uh, it can be pretty disturbing, but without being like Hannibal Lecter, you know, over the top like that. But uh, once again, once again, I'm not not a squeamish person, but you know, I just I'd like to see something different. Yeah, I can't wait for the gameplay movie of that to come out. Um, what they're what they're showing now is just a demo. Uh, there, it's like a lasts like a half an hour. Oh, I'm up. I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. Snowstorm warning that was uh that was predicted last night never happened. But um it's supposed to happen today though. Uh we're supposed to get I think somewhere between ten to fourteen inches. I thought it was supposed to happen last night according to the weather report, but it it didn't. I think there's maybe a, a dusting outside my window and that's about it. So good thing I did most of not all my grocery shopping last night is if it's um, if it's gonna be as bad as they say, then yeah, I, I don't want to go out. It'd be pretty dangerous to do so. And yeah, let me uh, let me uh, let me double check that real quick. Okay, the cold wind chills can be as low as 20 below. Uh, maybe not. It says uh, four to seven inches. Still quite a bit. But uh, wind gusts as high as 35 miles an hour. So that, in my mind, that's basically a bl that's basically blizzard conditions right there. So yeah. Now one other uh one other part of the site says it's gonna be four to six, so we got four to seven and four to six, but we'll see today, but like I like I said, it's a good thing I did most, if not all my grocery shopping yesterday, because <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to go out today. for the most part just did a whole lot of slobbing um I think I um I act um during my stream during my stream it actually um I was actually pretty well awake but once my stream ended um once I got my up uh, once I got my Final Fantasy 14 blog post posted up and all that all of a sudden just So I ended up taking like uh, two, possibly three naps. So yeah, definitely something I didn't want to do. But uh, like, like the old saying goes, shit happens. Oh, one other thing I did. 
Um, this came up on my YouTube recommendations, Dungeon Keeper 2. This was a game that I played a ton back in like the 90s, 2000s. Oh god, such an awesome game. Um, and I think I... I have tried to play it recently. Like, maybe, like... Somewhere around 11 or 12 years ago when I first got this apartment. I think I tried to play it, but... Like... I, well, I don't want to say my computer couldn't handle it, but uh, there's like a compatibility issue there. I might, uh... I might try giving this game another go. But, uh, I watched it, I watched a speed run on it, and, um, unlike a lot of other speed runs out there, the, the guy doing the speed runner actually shuts the fuck up. I mean, there's, there's been a lot of games that I wanted to see speed ran, but are often ruined by just blah, 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 Now, unless it's an AGDQ speed run, you know, where he's doing it in a, in a community center with a whole audience behind him, that kind of thing. That kind of stuff I like watching. But uh, when it's like, um, but when I when I just want to watch uh, an audience-free speed run, I only want to hear the gameplay. I don't want to hear the speed runner running his mouth, because that definitely kills the uh, kills the experience, for lack of a better word. So. <laughs> God, it's been a long time since I've heard this kind of music. And um, because of my, because of a little technique that I started doing recently, um, to find out if something's copyrighted, uh, download the video and then re-upload it to YouTube and see what it says. Now that I know to do that, and and uh, as of now, it's 100% accurate. It works 100% of the time. I might actually start up uh, start playing this kind of music more often because uh, there's been there's been times when you know back when I didn't know to do this I would play this kind of music but then I end up having to shit can the video because the music I was playing was copyrighted so. and now that I think about it God, what was it? No, that was a that was a band called Liquify. Yeah, I was I was playing that throughout a good chunk of my stream too. But probably not the kind of probably not the kind of music you can, um you'd want to play for a for an action-packed, fast-paced game like Dragon Ball Fighters. But it is in my Twitch description though. I mean, random music. But, uh, the, but uh, just like a lot of other games I play, the in-game music, it, it, I mean, it, it's kind of cool, but in my mind, it's what I've heard to as fighting game music. It, you know, it's nothing that, you know, I don't, I don't like the music enough to want to download it and, you know, save it to my iPod or something, you know, I mean, it's not, to me, the music's not that great. But again, to me, it's nothing but fighting game music. So, so yeah. But like, like I said, I'm like that with a lot of other games I play. The in-game music, after a while, it just drives me up a freaking wall. So, I gotta play something outside the game. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me. I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, and this is actually a pretty good cast. Um, it's I kept it right, kept it around 15 minutes, so not like some of these other ones I've done. I've, I've gone, like, gone over long, like 30, 45 minutes or whatever, but nice and short and sweet. So, But otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. 
which will be the last one for the week, because tomorrow is when my work week starts. No, Wednesday is when my work week starts up. So, but until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.